Hey, they, there we go. It's, <laughs> I'm so sorry for the technical difficulties. You know, sometimes in life we have technical difficulties, and I know you've been through a few, and <laughs> I know my wife, my wife's been through a few through, and that's, you know what I'm saying. Yep. Uh, listen, uh, thanks for coming on the program. Now I'm going to look at you through the camera. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to listen to you. I already know what you look like. I already know what you do. So I'm just going to look at you through the camera. And I hope that's intimate enough for you. Very. That's good. Yeah. No, we're good. So first off, how you doing? I'm doing awesome, man. Feeling great. <laughs> doing great. Everything's yep. good. You've done so many things recently and, 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 and so many things in the past. Uh, I know I know you did this Mel Brooks movie. Let's just start with that. How was that? That was fun. Um, I wish it would have went to theaters instead of going to streaming and becoming like a series through a movie. But it mm -hmm. was fun. And uh, we had a blast. Knoxville just called me one day and said, hey, uh, Mel Brooks is shooting History of the World Part Two, and we need to be in it. And I said, "I'm in." And I haven't seen it yet. What, what What did you do? Can you tell me what you did in the movie? Or uh, we did some old time stuff. I'm trying to think of names and stuff, but we just reenacted some old funny, stupid scenes where mm -hmm. uh, one of them I chop off Knoxville's dick. <laughs> so. <laughs> Where, where, and that's not a that's not a circumcision. You're just no. You just chopped it off. Completely chopped it off. And uh, it, we. How did that make you feel? That was fun. That was a good time. That was that was fun. It was. And would you chop a? Would you chop another dick off? No. Or, or no. <laughs> no. One of the, and what were the emotions that were going through your head? When you did that, I mean, what what were what were the visuals, or was it just colors, or what? It was just, it was like finally I'm gonna get my boy back for all the things he's done to me, and this is <laughs> and this is the highest way I can get him back. That's amazing. Yeah, let's talk about physicality for a second. Now you've done a lot of these stunts, and you you were able to, uh, you know, bend your body in different directions. I mean, how is it now? Do you have any pain or, or is there any chronic pain or what, what, no, what, what do you, what do you, no chronic pain. Um, I'm probably one of the only guys that admits it, but I don't know if any of the other guys do, but I go to yoga like three to four times a week. So I think, is that right? yeah, I think yoga has kept me good for the past 11, mm. 12 years. And, when you go to yoga and you're in yoga class, I mean, you must get recognized by the other the, the other yoga people. Yeah. D does anyone want to stretch you out, or do they have a they have the tendency <laughs> to try to just touch you, or what happens when you go to yoga class? No, no, yoga it's it's a whole different world. I think everybody just stays to themselves. Uh, but the one of the last teachers I had recently was like, "Why do I recognize this guy in my class?" And one of the other people were like, well, he's in Jackass. And she goes, oh, that's why. And she said she watched Jackass once, but it was one where we kept throwing up and she can't handle throw up, so she never watched it again. <laughs> tell me about, that's funny, but tell me about what it is about Jackass that resonates with people. What is it? Is it people just... They want to see people do harm to themselves. They want to see crazy shit. What is it that what is it that jackass does to people? What it does is I think it we have the camaraderie feel that everybody wants to have with their friends, but also everybody with their friends pulls pranks on each other. So to see a group of guys that get together very well and do it to each other, it's it's funny. It's like it's like Watching your two friends car crash, and you don't know which side they're like. Oh wow, I don't know who like who was at fault or whatever. But that was pretty right. funny. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, and, and when you're not, you know, doing the stunts, when the camera's not on, is everybody just lounging? Oh yeah, all the time. I hang out with uh, Preston and Dave England all the time, and we just hang out have a couple drinks, eat food, 
talk, you know, talk shit about everybody else or whatever. Uh (laughs) So it's just Uh the usual stuff. I've got, I was just out on tour with Steve-O on his bucket list tour. So I went and joined him for a little while and did that. So. Well, let's talk about the origin story. Let's talk about your childhood. I know you were born in Italy. Yep. And how long did you live in Italy? Was that just a trip your parents were on and she was pregnant? And she, what happened? No, my dad was in the army. And uh, he was then stationed in Germany where he met my mom. And then my dad got uh, stationed in Italy for a little bit. So my mom went with him. And I always say I was made in Germany, but born in Italy. Right, right, right. <laughs> so, right. Yeah. And then... Uh, when after about three months, uh, my dad came back to the states. His, his time in the army was done, so we came back to the states, straight to L.A., and uh, been here ever since. And and when you were in L.A. growing up, were you cognizant of show business? Was it something that kind of was around your brain, or was it something that happened, you know, out of what? Uh, I never wanted to be in Hollywood or show business because of being little. So I never went out and did auditions or anything like that. So it wasn't anything that was on the back of my mind. I always wanted to go, you know, pursue pro skating or do whatever from there, which I did. And then in the midst of that is when we created Jackass. And it became this huge phenomenon that, you know, grew bigger than we even thought. When when Jeff Tremaine came to us and said we were going to film this pilot to do a TV show, I was like, there's going to be one or two episodes of this, and they're going to take it off the air. But forever in life, I'll have people go, remember that time you guys tried to make a show and, you know, put it on the air? You guys were nuts. But that wasn't it. <laughs> But nuts in the right way, yeah. you know, not like nuts hanging from your legs. Yeah. We're talking about nuts and also not nuts like peanuts. We're talking about nuts and bolts. Yeah. We're talking about steel nuts <laughs> because the idea of, you know, doing crazy shit. And I like it too, man. I like when people get hit in the head with a skateboard. I like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. The idea of it maybe is, is, is a concept foreign to other people, but once you start seeing it, it's infectious. Yeah. And it, it does anything embarrass you? No, you can't you can't be on jackass and be embarrassed. You have to be fine with all your your moles and imperfections. So right. whatever you have, you go with it. And and what is it what is it that I also want to ask you this. What what's your favorite color? Green. You said that quick. Why so quick? It just it's always been green. Yep. What shade of green? I like uh, in between an emerald and an army. An emerald and an army. Yeah. So that would be almost like a what would it be a cascade or is that even a color? I cascade. Don't know. I don't think cascade's a color. I don't know. And 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 this might be a. A weird question. I don't mean to offend you, but do you use deodorant? Yes, I do. What what brand? Right Guard Sport. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Yep. Uh, take me through a normal day of, of you not doing stunts, just a normal day. All right. What what you wake up and what do you do? I wake up and as soon as I wake up, I pour a cup of coffee. I have a cup of coffee, and while I'm drinking my coffee. I think about what I want to do that day, like what kind of tasks I want to accomplish. Some of them are like emails out to uh, businesses I'm invested in, or some are just like to get a hold of friends to see if they want to go skate or go to yoga class. And others are like, okay, do I need to go and run errands and take care of things like get groceries or go get my mail from the mailbox. Cause I don't, I don't have my mail sent to my house. I have it. I have it sent to a PO box. And how big is that mailbox? Uh, I got the big one. Cause I like packages being sent. So it, I got- is it, is, is the mailbox. And again, I don't mean to try to 
come at you in any way, but is the mailbox bigger than you? No. <laughs> All right, because that, that would, is it bigger than your head? Uh, maybe. Yeah, might be. Maybe, because you haven't measured it. You don't know the yeah. exact yeah. dimension. Fair enough, fair enough. Now, um, the the rap, uh, uh, the rap. Uh, well, let's not get into the rap thing yet. But I'm trying to resist. Uh, Poopies is getting a spinoff show, and it's on Discovery. Are you going to be on that? No. You said that as if there might be some beef. No, no beef at all. Did you ask to be on it, or is it just something you wouldn't do? That no, just don't need. We well, didn't ask and wasn't asked. So. And tell me about your favorite stunt. Do you have a favorite stunt? Uh, yeah. It was done, I think, in our number two movie. It was the double bungee. When I jumped off the pier, or, like, the bridge, connected with a bungee cord to Preston, and when the bungee went full extent, it yanked him into the water. (laughs) And what is the feeling, for the people that have never done these kind of stunts or anything like it, what is what is the feeling you feel? I mean, what is it that you feel all kinds of feelings? You feel butterflies of nerves before you're gonna do it, and then during it, you're like, "Oh my god, I hope I live." And when it's done, you feel like you just climbed a mountain, and you feel accomplished. Is that right? Yep. And you're married? No, not married. Girlfriend? Girlfriend, yeah. How long you been going out? Two years. And is she uh, understanding of what you do? I imagine she would be. Oh, totally, yeah. Yep. Has she ever done a stunt? No. she did. She's pretty crazy, though, too. For about 25 years, she did roller derby. So <laughs> she was pretty crazy that way. Okay, so, and how did you meet? Uh, we met at this tiki bar called Billy's. Is that right? Yeah. And what kind of, what does tiki mean? You mean? Like tiki torches? Yeah, like tiki bar, like Hawaiian style. Hawaiian style. Yeah. So you're a guy that likes pineapple on the ham pizza thing? Oh, yeah, of course. And what's the most pieces of pizza you ever ate? Six. Six. Yep. So you can put it away. You can put it away. Yeah. And you eat greens and things like that, like spinach and all that. You keep that up, or eh, once in a while. Once in a while, I don't eat. But pizza. you get I your... don't eat pizza that much either. I start try and stay away from bread. Is that right? And that's what people are doing now. They're eating the. They're eating just protein and nuts and things like that, aren't they? Yep. I eat mozzarella sticks with gravy, right out of my hand. And when I say out of my hand, I mean I don't mean I have each stick in in my fingers. I mean. I, I lay them across in my hand, and then I just smash them into my face, if that makes any sense. Oh, but, totally. Yeah. Now, what's next for you? What What's the next chapter in this? Is it going to be another movie, or can you say, or what? Uh, I don't know if there's going to be another movie. That's uh, nothing in the works right now. Uh, just continuing to be the entrepreneur I am with the businesses I have. And uh, moving forward that way. You don't like me, do you? No, I totally like you. Okay, why do you like me? You're chill. There's no reason for me. I give you the benefit of the doubt. I like you until I don't like you. And you haven't done anything for me to not like you. Okay, well, watch this. Just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) Um. Could you teach me, would you come on the show and do a stunt with me or what? Depends on the stunt. Just, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's fair enough. Yeah. That's fair enough. Now, what's your least favorite stunt you ever did? Huh, least favorite? I don't know. I don't think I have a least favorite. Or let's just say most painful. Um, In the last movie, we did the gauntlet where Preston and Zach were hooked up and then they like car smashed into me together that one hurt the most 
I saw that yeah, one. Yeah, that one felt like I was going to have broken ribs and stuff. In in the next day, what, you couldn't get out of bed or what? No, I just was in pain for like that day. But after that, it was fine. So you bounced back. Sounds like he bounced back more than the other guy. Oh, yeah. What do you attribute that to? Strength and uh, staying fit, skateboarding and keeping limber, doing different things. And how old are you? I will be 50 in two months. Is that right? Yep. 50 years old. 50 years old. And is there an end game to this? Is there a retirement date? Is there a a thought that, okay, I'm, I'm going to be done about when this happens? Or you know? No, I'm always going to no. keep going. Keep going. And you stretch a lot? Yep. Is that right? Yeah. And have you ever shit your pants during one of these stunts? No. <laughs> I wish I <laughs> did. Preston yeah. has, and he's gotten gold footage. So gold footage. Is that because the stool looked gold? No, it's just because it guarantees it's going to be in the movie. So is that right? Yeah. Is that right? What an amazing, amazing life. I mean, if you, if you would have told yourself when you're 12 years old, you'd be doing all these stunts and being famous and everything. Would you have believed yourself? No, nope. not one bit. You like Chinese food? Love Chinese food. What do you order? Orange chicken, fried rice, and uh, broccoli beef. You mean beef and broccoli? Yeah, beef and broccoli. And you like the brown rice or the white rice? I like them both. Fried rice or white rice. That's that's the way you have to answer it these days. Yep. Because if you said white rice, it could seem racist. Really? Because um, of rice? W- well, because it's so white and it's so Ross. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a hell of a time. Ne- I know ne- it's good. I've never but... heard of that. I didn't hey, me know, either. I didn't know food could be racist. Yeah, well, just corner it. What and about see what white it eggs? does? White eggs? I mean, what you mean like just the, the white part, no. the yolk? There's white eggs, there's brown eggs. Oh, you mean the shell? Yeah. Well, you should never judge an egg by its shell. Exactly. There's the point. That'd just be shellfish. But those are crabby. Those are crabby. Now we're getting into puns. Can you do an English accent? I'm speaking English right now. I mean, you know one from England, England. You know, like, uh, oh, I'm all good, you know. Uh, give me some toffee. I can't do one, but how about a French accent? I do French every day. I give people the wee oui, wee, oui, and I Frenchman wave them. Is that right? Yep. Do you do personal appearances? I haven't in a long time. Why is that? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the world's different now. I think everybody feels like they're a star. Because they have so their, they have their phone and on social media they get all their likes, so they feel like there's somebody. They, it, it's almost like a uh, it's almost like the Gong Show. It is pretty much. Right. It's a daily Gong Show for everybody out there. That's 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 what I think. Yep, me too. So I, I assume you've made a lot of money. I, I I can only assume. I know I've made a lot of money, but. When you were making money, did you think it would, I mean, were you one of these guys that kind of invested or saved, or did you just think it'd keep coming in, and and it has keep coming in, but were you one of the, how did you, how did you, what was your, your mindset when you started to make money? Invest and save and bought properties. And what did you invest in, if you don't mind saying? Uh, I'm an owner of Chronic Tacos. We have 40 locations. Uh, I invested in a venue here that does like weddings, bar mitzvahs, parties, bands, concerts, car shows. So I'm invested in that. And uh, properties. I I own properties. Rental and uh, um, just ones for people to live in. 
You got any two bedrooms open? No, not right now. Maybe, maybe after this market crash, I will. Tell me about that. You said market crash, like you know something about to happen. <laughs> you know, it's something. just inevitable. It's coming. It's been coming for a while. And if nobody, if you it, haven't been smart and been prepared for it and saved up and watched where your coins are, it's gonna hit you. And where should your coins be? Right now, they should be in your pocket, saving up to go to get stuff when the market crashes. In in what you said, save up. You said in your pocket. You mean literally cash in your pocket or uh, in the bank? Because I know what we've recently had with the bank in more Silicon in your, Bank. More in your pocket. More in your actual physical pocket, not in the bank. Mm -hmm. Bank doesn't do good. Fives and tens, okay. Fives and tens are fine. What about ones? Always good. Money's money. What about change? Change is good too. But sometimes people don't want to take change. Laundromats will. Will you take change in your life? I always take change. Do you do you address change or do you accept it when it comes to you? Both. I accept it and I address it. And you don't like ch chow mein or you do like chow mein? Love chow mein. Wh which one? Uh, chicken. Chicken chow mein. Yeah, I don't like shrimp. You don't like shrimp? I'm not a fan. Why? Because it's, is that just because of a, you competitive with shrimp or no, what? No, not competitive at all. You just don't like it because it's seafood or it's a bottom feeder or what? Uh, I don't mind lobster and crab. I just don't like shrimp. You just don't like shrimp. Yep. You never have. Uh, nah, not much. And if you had a ideal getaway, where would you go? Ideal getaway for a long time or a short period of time? Give me both. Uh, short period. Uh, I'd go anywhere on the West Coast from California to, uh, Seattle, Washington. Camping. Right. Camping. Short period. Long period, I'd go back to Italy. In what part? Because I, I spent a lot of time out there. What part of Italy? I love, uh, you ever heard of Portofino? Portofino, of course. Yeah. Cinque Terre is a yeah. nice one. Yep. There. Or um, out in the uh, Tuscan area. Right, Tuscan. And that, to me, that's the best food is in the Tuscan area. Yeah, best wines, it just, too. What's that? Best wines are from there, too. So you like a little wine. Oh, yeah. Is that your favorite alcohol? Uh, it's one of them. And if you want to just get plastered, which what what do you like to do? Then you just got to straight do shots. Shots of what? Tequila. 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 Yep. That was going to be my name if I was a girl. Tequila? Tequila. It's hard to say, but it's true. Tequila is hard to spell, but it means something, doesn't it? Oh, it means something. It keeps you warm. And what's the worst hangover you ever had? Oh, I had one that lasted a couple of days. Uh, I got sh I got shitty, shitty drunk, drinking Tito's and sodas, and I didn't trust the waitress was bringing me enough, so I made her bring me a sidekick shot of more Tito's so I could add it to it. And a buddy and I played a, ga a drinking game of who can drink as many as we could. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's something about a hangover. It's worse than, and I don't want to jinx myself, but it's it's almost worse than any sickness. Yeah. Because it's self-inflicted, and you just can feel like the bonehead you are for getting that deep in it. <laughs> yeah. And you just keep on going. I mean, I remember one time I got shit shit horsed, and I fucking drank two bottles of wines, and I <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> that's not true. Uh, I made that up. That's not true. Uh, it's already out there. The internet has it. They're going to make it seem like you did that. I know. And that's something. Talk about that, by the way. What is it like to be famous? And what is it like to not have any control 
over what people say about you and, and so so forth? Uh, being famous is good at some points. Everything has an ups, it has its ups and downs. It has its ups and it has its downs. Downside is when you're out and you're trying to eat and someone just comes and sits at your table because they think they know you. But to you, to you, they're a complete stranger, you know? So people don't understand if they come and they grab me on the sh on the shoulder as being a stranger and I punch you in the face, that's what you get, you know. <laughs> and you've been in you've been in a few fights. Yeah. Right. And and what is it what is it about getting in a fight? I mean, I I I assume you don't like getting in fights, yeah, but maybe once they you don't like doing it, but but people sometimes try to fuck with you, I assume, and, and just because you're famous, and right? I mean, do they fuck with you? I it mean, happens. maybe not anymore. It happens. It happens. Is it because people are jealous? I would, th you think? I would think that would be the number one reason. Is that right? Yeah. Is that right? Is that right? You got any questions for me? No. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> I guess I'm not interested enough, but where are you at right now? There's a question. I'm in Portland, Oregon. I'm in, I'm at my friend's house and, uh, I was traveling and I just didn't want to take the next leg of my flight. So I just came over here and we set up studios and, you know, we're having a little, uh, life cereal and some, some lactate, uh, you know, the lactate. Are you lactose intolerant? Uh, if I drink milk or eat cheese, I'll get the farts. Is that right? Yeah. And, and you've been constipated before? I've been constipated. From a stunt or just? No. Just from eating wrong. And what do you mean? Like not putting the food in your mouth? No, you put it in your mouth, but sometimes your body doesn't accept certain foods. Right. So... Almost like a gateway thing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Why are you? Why did you stop in Portland? Where are you headed to? Your, well, I was headed final, to Los Angeles. Oh, your final destination What's, is L.A. Yeah, where, I just you know just two more hours would have killed me. Where are you coming from? Where are you coming from? Right here. No, but you landed no, I mean, in Portland. <laughs> but you said you, no. I was coming from Dallas, and I just didn't want to make the connection and. Sometimes when you don't make the connection, you make another connection, like the one we're having right now. So you flew from Dallas to Portland, and then That's you right, go to yeah. L.A. Yep, it was a puddle jumper. So that's actually pretty far for a puddle jumper. Yeah. 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 Well, what's your <laughs> next big adventure? My next. I thought you didn't have any questions for me. Now I'm all interested. Uh. My next big adventure is Pee Wee's Big Playhouse. I'm going to be given a, a, a moratorium for a, one of the uh, character actors in that movie. I'm giving a commencement speech for his daughter, and I'm going to be able to parlay that into some sort of a documentary, but I don't know what or when or how or how. I, I don't know. I'm just, you know, I'm about to retire out of my show, but of course I'll get into producing and things like that, but... You know, when the time's right, I'll do a comeback. You know, just like Cher. Mm -hmm. Have you ever produced a movie before? You, you know, I have. I have. But some of the, the, the stuff that we produced didn't suss out. You know, there wasn't enough to it. I mean, I remember we shot some footage. It just didn't come out. And, and, and some of that was pivotal footage. And I can't get into what it was, but it was... It was a movie about the Amazon, but I can't get into the details. But there was a campsite there, yeah. and one of the people that were filming the movie, he got gonorrhea, and then he they had to ship him back to Pennsylvania, and then he just got off kilter with his family. It led to you know drinking and uh, all this other shit. But then he invented something for camping equipment. So I'm working with him again on this camping equipment. So nice. That's what you say when you don't know what I just said, and I don't know. Yeah, what I didn't, well, what I didn't, didn't say. Just like the movies you've made, they weren't finished. 
Right. I didn't statement finish in a lot of finished either. What's that? Your statement wasn't finished either. You, and also you, when you, I, you I'm in bed with a woman, I don't What's that? I don't finish when I'm in bed with a woman either. Yeah. If that makes any sense. I, I have a wife. You seen my wife? Nope. Okay, well when you see her, you'll know. That's my wife. Oh, okay. Do you have any social media you want to plug? No. I'm going to get rid of social media. Tell me about that. Getting rid of it? Yeah. It comes from... It's just like when I started skateboarding, I did it because no one else was doing it. Now everybody does it, and it's in the Olympics. It's somewhere we, we've never even wanted it to be. So social media, when I first got on it, was like this cool little like space for people to go on that nobody else was doing. But now everybody's doing it. So it's not even... I like doing things that are punk rock and underground. And, you know, just like when we did Jackass, no one was doing that stuff. Now everybody's doing it. So, right. Yeah. Once right. everybody it, starts it, doing it, I don't even want to do it anymore. I feel that. And do you think that comes from the yoga you do? Like, it gives you a Zen feeling or no, something? No, it comes from the young kid that I always was, that I always went against the grain. I always well, did things that people weren't doing. And you continue to do things that people aren't doing. Yeah. And uh, thanks for the banking advice. I'm going to get a bunch of uh, nickels and I'm just going to put them in my sock. Yeah. And because I'm, I'm going to twirl them over my Now you have two things. You have a savings and a weapon. Isn't that right? Yep. Isn't that right? Yep. What a great thing. You know, see, people just say get pepper gel. But no, get a sock. Yep. Get some silver and start swinging. Swinging and saving. Singing and singing. <laughs> Thanks for coming on today. I really do appreciate your time. I know we had technical difficulties before, and it, that put a bit of a wrench in things. But I think this is this was a lot of fun. I'll tell you that it really was awesome. No worries, man. All right, Wee man. All right, buddy. Take care. You too.